welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited because I just received my Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie 2. If you can see, the packaging is gorgeous. I love Laura Lee's packaging. I love everything about her brand because it's so thought out. Everything looks beautiful. When I opened the box, I wish I would have recorded because the box is simple, but once you open it, everything is just like so nicely packaged um it comes with like a little insert and then a little coupon and i also thought this was really cute in case you did christmas shopping on her site she sends you a little to and from tag so when you wrap up your gift you can put a little to and from i thought that was like such a cute detail now you may have heard nudie patootie already and you're like wait doesn't she already have a palette like that she does have nudie patootie and you guys, it has like some really beautiful shades. As you can see here, a lot of pinky nudes. I just dug my finger into that. Um, and this is basically, I want to say an extension. I feel comfortable saying an extension to Nudie Patootie because even though it's still that like nude, pinky nude uh, tones, they are different shades than the ones that are in Nudie Patootie. And so I'm just excited to get into it. I did pick up the two liquid lipsticks, some brushes, some highlight that I have not tried. So I'm excited to get into this. I will be having a giveaway in this video, so stay tuned for that. I quickly do want to say if you don't follow me on my Instagrams and you'd like to, please do. I will be doing a giveaway or two on Instagrams soon. I do have two Instagrams, so I'll leave them here on the screen somewhere, um, but I do have them linked in the description and then I believe also on my channel. So if you're new around here, welcome. My name is Jackie. This is the longest intro of life. I'm so sorry. If you like the vibe, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video or as often as you like to be reminded about my videos. My videos are here for whenever you guys want to come back and watch them. And yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I zoomed you in just a tiny bit. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the beautiful packaging, the palette, and the two new liquid lipsticks. So first up, the packaging. Okay you guys, so this is the packaging for Nudie number two. As you can see, it is very similar. It has that ombre kind of effect. And then it also has the foil on the Laura Lee Los Angeles and then the nudie is glossed over. Super cute. I love it. Super simple. And then if you flip it around, you can see it has the logo and then their social media information. And then you have ingredients to shadows and stuff like that. So it is again, super simple, a little bit of logos on the side. And yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it's so gorgeous. Okay, so this is the actual palette. As you can see, it mimics very much the um, packaging. It is super cute. It does have an insert. I'm gonna go ahead and let that drop. And then we have a mirror, a little logo. Also, all the palettes, highlighting palettes and such, they all have really good mirrors. But as you can see here, this is the palette itself. Again, nudes. There is four mattes, four shimmers, and two foiled shadows. They are so beautiful. And I know that a lot of you are attracted to these kind of shades, as am I. <laughs> Okay, I went ahead and I toned down the light just a little bit. Starting from here over, we have the shade Sheer, and that is a shimmer. Then we have Bum, a matte. Then we have Nudie, a foil. Then we have Patootie, a matte. And then lastly, we have Skimpy, and that is a shimmer. So that is the top row. And then the bottom row, starting from this side, this is the shade Low Cut, and that is a matte. And then we have Lush, which is a shimmer. It is gorgeous. And then we have Blushing, and Blushing might look matte, um, but I don't know if you can see there, it has little shimmers in it, and they are kind of like a nudie pinky shimmer. And then you have Cheeky, and this is a foil shadow. It is gorgeous as well. And then you have Risque, which is the deepest matte 
deepest shade in the palette. So up next we have the packaging to the liquid lipsticks. Again, it all mimics pretty much the same um, ombre of the nude, pink, a little bit of foil on the lettering, and then just lets you know it's a liquid lip. Of course, down at the bottom, it lets you know what shade you have. And the packaging of the actual liquid lipsticks looks like this. It is super simple, sleek, and clean. Um, and down at the bottom, it does let you know what shade is which. This one is the shade Skimpy and the shade Snow Off. And let me go ahead and swatch these for you. Okay, so with the light still toned down, you can see it's starting to be mostly matte. This is the shade Skimpy and the shade Snow Off, and they are so pretty. This one kind of reminds me of Bachelorette from Colored Rain. One of my favorite, my favorite liquid lip shade, I guess I can say. <laughs> okay, you guys, lastly, I just wanted to show you a little side-by-side -side comparison. Nudie 2 is just meant to be an extension of Nudie Patootie. So, yeah, they are just gorgeous. I love these shades. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and I primed my eyes, and I quickly do just want to say, um, I have gotten questions about my eyeshadow primer you guys know I used to prime my eyes with eyeshadow primer if you've been watching from the beginning but honestly you guys lately I have been using concealer I, I've mentioned it before um, I just have like a couple of concealers that are too light for me so I just use them as eyeshadow primer and they work to be honest this is the one that I use the most because it's like right here um, it's the L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer and it works amazing as eyeshadow primer so so getting into this I'm gonna go ahead and I'll pop up the eyeshadow names as always in this corner and let's get into it I don't have a plan so we shall see where this takes us so going in with the first shade and you guys like I said I really feel like this formula fills so good and I'm just taking that on an M504 oh I also always forget to tell you guys what brushes I'm using okay so now that I have that first shade just blended in you can barely see it um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of low cut and I'm just using the same 504 brush and I'm just gonna apply right here kind of just giving myself a little bit of gradient for when I put the darker shade and I want this to be like smoked out I think I'm just gonna do like a super matte lid and then really brighten up the inner corner but I kind of want to keep this a lot of depth a lot of shadow on the lid but kind of like really gradient as it's going through my crease Okay, so now that I have that nicely blended, I'm going to start packing on the darker shade. And to do that, I'm just going to use the Alemar Cosmetics Crease Control Brush. And I'm going to go into Risqué, and I'm just going to load it up. And then I'm just going to pack it on my lid. I'm going to try to keep it on the lower half, so then it can blend up. And for blending that up, I'm just going to use my Morphe 330 and I'm just going to start slowly blending it up and then right now we'll pick up a little bit of shadow. Okay, so now that I have that blended to my desired liking, I'm going to go in with a little bit of sheer and I'm just taking that on a Real Techniques um, small detailer brush. I really don't know what brush it is, um, but I'm just going to pop this in as my brow bone highlight. And normally I don't like a shimmer as my brow bone highlight. Um, I just prefer it matte. But today I was like, you know what? Let's go in a little shimmery. Okay, you guys. So now that I have that on, we're going to move on to a little bit of face makeup. And we're moving on to face makeup because I want to show you how this beautiful brush applies my, my foundation. This is the L. One, one this is from Laura Lee Los Angeles of course it is such a beautiful brush um, as you can see here it is like a white almost like kabuki style brush and if you guys have been watching me from the beginning you guys know that I am pro makeup sponge specifically the makeup geek blackberry sponge I don't know the exact name I'll put it right here for you guys 
I absolutely love that sponge. I love the way that it leaves my foundation. I don't know what about the sponge. Just, I don't know. It just leaves the foundation super amazing. So when I tried Laura Lee's L11, I was super shocked to see that it leaves my foundation very, very much like the Makeup Geek sponge. So since I've tried that brush, I have been alternating between the two of them. And so of course I had to pick some up to include in the giveaways. Um, so I just wanna show you what it looks like so you can see how the brush performs. I'm gonna zoom you in just a tiny bit more so you guys could actually see the action of the foundation. Um, but yes, let's get into that. Okay guys, so I zoomed you in a tiny bit more. I already went ahead and put my primers on, that way they could just set for a second. I went in with the Farsali Liquid Powder. I actually really like this stuff and I completely forgot that I had it because it somehow slipped to the back of my drawer and I found it the other day and I'm like, yes, I actually really love this stuff. Um, I also went ahead and applied Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I know you're thinking, what is going on here? Um, I am oily mostly my nose right now my forehead hasn't been oily for a really long time but I did apply this on my nose forehead and then this went on the rest of my face and for foundation today I'm going to go in with the rare beauty foundation and this one is in the shade 310 W also very quickly very random one of my top ask questions is what foundation shade am I wearing? Can I list my favorite foundations and the shade names? A lot of you guys are, I guess, similar skin tone. And so I haven't tried a million of them. When I find one I like, I kind of just stick to it, to be honest. So I will list all the ones that I love in the description of every single video. Um, but starting off with this video. So if you're interested in that, it'll be listed all down below. Okay, so now going in with the foundation, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply straight to my face here. Honestly, sometimes I feel like I apply way too much, but it always works out. <laughs> and my brush isn't clean, but I promise I've only used it once before. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna start buffing. Honestly, I don't even remember if there was like a specific way Laura said to use the brush but this is what i do and it just works for me um i don't know i just i've never used a brush that has been something that i like for foundation honestly like never and i feel like i have to share this brush magic i know some of you guys have like your holy grail brushes that you guys love but I just, I never found a brush that made me feel like, ooh, I'm gonna reach for a brush today for my foundation. Never. Okay guys, so as you can see, this leaves my foundation looking so good. It almost looks airbrushed, but it's not, obviously. Um, and it just leaves it smooth. I was nervous around the nose, like, will it get in there? It, de it really does, like, I don't know. It looks like I put it on a sponge, you guys. What can I say? I absolutely love this brush. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put my concealer, set this, and then I'll be back so we can try another one of Laura Lee's products. I have never tried one of her glazed lit kits, so I'm excited to get into those. So give me just a moment, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and I set my face and my concealer and my brows, and now we're back, and we are going to move on to the glazed lit kits from Laura Lee Los Angeles, and they look like this. First of all, super shocked. Light, what are you doing to me? Super shocked. You guys, these are massive. Like, if you've seen the Nudie Patootie, the original, it's literally even bigger like slightly, but it's a little bigger and I cannot believe it. Sorry, I'm waving things in the air. It's making me go orange. So the first one, I already took it out of the packaging. Let me just show you what I mean by I love Laura's packaging. Like everything's individually wrapped, super protected. Oh, I, I love this, I appreciate it. Um, so let me get this one out of here as well. And so I got, the bronzed and I got the glazed of course um and so the glazed looks like this super cute you have 
a couple of champagne -y colors in the light and then a little bit darker and then you have a little bit of a I would say like a peachy pink um, highlight which is called rose all day rose all day and then you have cinnamon sugar which is a deeper highlight okay you guys so now we have the bronzed lit kit and I'm holding it back a little because my camera keeps going like weird but you can see the shades here they are gorgeous okay let's get into this highlight you guys I actually ordered more of these I want to be able to give some of these away to you guys so keep an eye out I'm telling you I think this is just how I'm going to do my holiday giveaways randomly in videos so I'm going to go in with I think I'm going to go in with Glow Gal and then a little bit of Yacht Club. So Glow Gal from The Glazed and Yacht Club from Bronze. And then we're going to come right in here. Oh, yes. They are beautiful. I love when highlights lay on the skin like softly and like blown out and not like super chunky. I love a glittery highlight when I'm in the mood, but for most days, I like a little, a little glazed moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this and then I will be back so we can do the lip. Okay guys, so I am back and I went ahead and I finished that up. On the bottom waterline, very quickly, I went in with Bum Low Cut, I almost said low key, and a little bit of Risqué. So just very lightly, all three shades, I put that on the bottom waterline. In my inner corner, again, I wanted that like super brightness, so I kind of exaggerated the inner corner highlight, and that is the shade Cheeky. And let me just say, it is such a beautiful shade. From formula to the actual shade color, like I absolutely love it. I did go natural lash today, so hope you can see my lashes. <laughs> but for my lip liner, I went ahead and I actually used the Raw Beauty Christie X Color Pop Eyeliner, and this one is in the shade Woodsy. And I didn't blend or anything, just applied it because we're gonna actually go in with the Laura Lee um, Los Angeles liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to go in with snow off first and then I'm going to rub a little bit of skimpy in the center. And I'm sorry if I keep going, you know, orange. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this shade right over. Really, I don't need to concentrate in the center. And then I'm going to have a brush here to help me out in a second. And I'm basically just kind of covering the eyeliner, lip liner. And now we're going to go in with the shade Skimpy and I'm going to put that in the center of my lips. And then I'm going to use the brush again to blend it out and kind of make like a little bit of an ombre lip. I'm just going to wipe off the same brush. And then start blending. Okay, you guys, so that is the completed look. If you are wondering how these liquid lips feel, they feel so amazing. They feel like, I don't know, like cloudy, buttery liquid lips. I don't know how to explain it. I know liquid lips kind of lost, you know, their little flair um, because... I don't know, some of them were being kind of crusty and ugly, but these feel amazing. The colors are beautiful. And as I mentioned in the video, she does have other shades on her website. As for the palette, you guys, I definitely have to say the quality of the shadows feel way better. Um, I don't mind the Nudie Patootie, but it was a little more drying to me. Um, but you guys, these are amazing. The mattes are nice and soft, easy to diffuse. And the um, foil shades that are in here are amazing. Like, ugh, I absolutely love how bright and it's almost like I don't know. I want to say there's like a little bit of a color shift in there. It might just be me. It just might be my eyes. But I absolutely love this collection. I think Laura did such a good job. I like that she stays true to herself. I know that, you know, she has a brand. She has to cater to everybody. But I still think there's a way to cater to everybody without 
I don't know, putting things out there that you would never even wear, you know what I mean? Also, anything else that's on my face that I didn't mention here on the video, it will be listed down below as always. And now we can go ahead and get into the giveaway. So for today's giveaway, I kind of wanted to stay again, kind of in the Laura Lee vibes. Um, if you guys don't follow Laura, I'm sure most of you do. She actually is very into like health and taking care of your skin and that kind of stuff as well. That being said, I wanted to include some skincare in today's giveaway. Um, some of the skincare I purchased, never used. Some of the skincare came in my BoxyCharm and I didn't use. I kind of always feel like I'm gonna start using it and then I never do. So the first item in the giveaway is this Pure Hills uh, Centia 90 Ample Serum. I don't know how to say that, but I did look this up and it has amazing reviews. Um, it is to help restore your moisture barrier on your skin and to also protect from any further damage. And it does a couple other goodies, but you guys, that is the main one that caught my attention because I do feel like a lot of us have ruined our moisture barrier. If you've never looked into that, look into that. But I wanted to include this in here because sometimes Laura is without makeup and her skin looks glowy and amazing. And I honestly don't know what she uses, but I felt like we could all use a little bit of moisture barrier repair. So the second item I wanted to include in this giveaway is by Emma Hardy. And this is a balanced facial oil. It's for an overnight treatment. So basically it helps increase moisture level it increases elasticity, it balances the skin, and it has antioxidant protection. So yeah, it's very easy. You put this on at night and it does all the work for you while you sleep. So I wanted to include this also in this giveaway. Up next, we have this Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. Again, another good choice to have um, to repair the skin barriers. You guys, I am a firm believer that I had ruined my skin moisture barrier because I was having like major issues on my forehead. And so I wanted to include this in the giveaway. This is also a light mask. It's nothing that's going to be like super heavy. It's not going to make your skin more oily or anything like that. Um, so I wanted to include this also in the giveaway. The third little goodies are just a couple of the Sephora face masks. You know, we all feel different about these. I personally have never had any issues with them. I feel like they help me out when I need the help. So I do personally love these myself. So I wanted to include some of these in this giveaway as well. And now for makeup, I have this little four piece set of mini highlight, blush stick, shadow, crayon, and a brow pencil. And it's basically just supposed to be like light makeup on the go. I cannot pronounce the name of this brand, but it is Tress. Trust <laughs> I don't even know you guys. I, I need to stop. Anyway, it has the four little pencils inside, and yeah, I just I thought they would it was so cute. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. Some of the sometimes packaging gets me, you guys. It really does. <laughs> Up next, we have a Stilla waterproof smudge stick liner, and this one is in the shade Vivid Amethyst. It is a purpley shade. Um, I just wanted to include a little bit of a liner. Sometimes I will, a lot of times I see Laura with like a little baby wing and I was just like, let me throw in an eyeliner that's not, you know, your basic black. Um, so I did throw in a purpley S eyeliner. <laughs> I almost said lipstick. <laughs> Okay, you guys, and lastly, you guys know that Manny and Laura are best friends, so I decided to throw in this Morphe X Manny palette, and as you can see, the packaging is super slick. You have a little bit of, like, marbling on the outside, and then you have the Morphe X Manny on the side, um, and then in the back, a little picture of Manny, a little message from him, and then a little bit of information um, from the palette. The palette itself mimics the carton... The palette itself mimics the carton. I went ahead and I toned down the light so you can see the shadows. Um, it just has a little bit of that marble kind of like picture detail. And then again, the Morphe X Manny. And I'm sorry, I'm going orange. And then this is the inside of the palette. The mirror in here is a really good mirror as well. You have mattes and shimmers and then you have two highlights. And as always, you could use any of this interchangeable any of these lighter shades as highlights and you can use these highlights as shadows they are super cute 
So technically this is the last item. I almost forgot. So I'm going to be giving the L11 away. That was the foundation brush from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. Let me know once you win, if you win, if you love this as much as I do. I genuinely think this is the best foundation brush out there. I absolutely love it. Okay, you guys, so that is everything in the giveaway. All that stuff goes to one lucky winner. So first, you must be subscribed to my channel. As always, all my giveaways are for people that support me and that are here subscribed to my channel. And secondly, I just want to first say I know that we have all been going through it in 2020. To be honest, some of us have been going through it well before 2020. And so um, that being said, I understand that we all can't always donate so what i would like for the entry of this giveaway is for you guys to comment down below where is your favorite place to donate any organizations foundations or anything like that that you guys know of that people can help and donate and basically i just want to start a feed um down in the comments that has all that information for people to learn of different things i myself just learned of operation santa and that is done through the USPS website. Basically all the letters to Santa from kids and people that uh, send the letters to Santa get posted up on their website. Starting December 4th you can go on there, read the letters, and you can be Santa um, for a little kid or person that is writing to him. Um, and I just thought that was just such a cute idea and I was reading some of the letters, I did post some of them on my Insta stories. Some of them are funny, some of them are heartfelt, some of them are heartbreaking, and they definitely had me crying. And so I knew nothing about that, and so I just figured for this giveaway, comment down below what is a foundation, organization, where you like to donate, leave it down below. And those of you that can help, please do. Um, I just. I just want to help people when I can and I can't do it all myself and so for this giveaway I just wanted to give to my subscribers but also give back to people that you know want to help spread the word and help others by donating so that is it that is how you enter my giveaway you guys um, again please keep a lookout on Instagram on here I will be doing more holiday giveaways um, I don't have a set schedule I never have but I was uploading two times a week life is still a little crazy for me as I mentioned so I'm trying to do my best thank you so much for being patient with me thank you guys so much for being here today and I hope that you guys are excited for this giveaway and I will see you guys in my next one adios